What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the JR Hangar and welcome to another new reveal video. This time we're not revealing a new car though. We are instead revealing our new motorcycle, a 1990s icon. We are so hyped to share this with you all. We hinted at this new acquisition last week but nobody guessed what it was. So I think you guys are going to be in for a surprise. We're walking out to it right now. Christian said it's in the truck. He picked it up. I wasn't there. I flew home. Introducing our new to us 1995 BMW K1100 RS. There she is, guys. Now, before you race to the comments and say, how did you get this for 925 bucks? Where did you get this? Let me go ahead and answer that while thanking the sponsor of today's video, Copart. You guys have heard us say it time and time and again, Copart is our favorite place to pick up new project vehicles. They have everything from cars, trucks, ATVs, motorcycles, boats, RVs. They have thousands of different vehicles ending every single day at auction. So there is something for everyone. And most likely, they have a location in your home state. As you all know, we've been able to pick up some in insane deals at Copart. Everything from our $1,500 V12 Mercedes there to our cheap Porsche 944 to the six-speed manual C300, the list goes on. And since you guys are a follower of JR Garage, Copart is hooking you up with a great deal. Link down below is our special sign-up link. It'll save you 20% on their yearly membership costs. So you can now make an account and get bidding right away for like under $50. So it's an amazing deal that will only be going on for one week. So act now and support those who support us. I'm telling you, once you get browsing the site, you'll be hooked. I been so long on their website finding good deals. So go check it out. Hit that link down below. Thank you Copart once again for the long-term support on this channel. Now let's get back to the motorcycle. Okay guys, time for that in-depth walk around with our latest acquisition. Christian, you actually picked this bike up. Yep, that's why we took the truck out there because we had our eye on a car actually, as well as this bike, and we knew we were gonna come away with one or the other, maybe even both. We could put this in the bed. We weren't sure if it was gonna fit though, and sure enough, it doesn't fit straight in, but on the diagonal, we were just able to squeeze it in, lift up the bed, but that was tough. They brought out the motorcycle on a forklift like they normally do, and they dropped it in the bed, and the guy was like, good luck getting that thing out because I did not realize how heavy this thing was. We were starting to film this video like two hours ago and we went to go just you know simply unload the bike you know grab it from the sides and just pick it up and off and um we realized really quick that that was not going to be the case this is a very heavy bike i think that if we either got a really long ramp which we don't have and it's on here backwards so we'd have to ride it down the ramp backwards probably not gonna work yeah but in our warehouse we have the lifts. Backed it out right onto one of the car platforms. You roll it back onto that, lower the lift, and then it roll work. it off. Then, it, then it'd be off, and then we can get trying to start it. You guys seen the title, will it start? We don't know, right now we do not know. We truly hope by the end of this video, but there's a lot we need to go through. So what's really cool about this bike, Christian, it, it basically has like the power of a car. Four cylinder engine, and it makes 100 horsepower. On a bike, that's insane. 100 cc, that's like an old Volkswagen Bug or an old <laughs> Porsche. Yeah, this is, this is big and it weighs a lot. I think it's 650 pounds, uh, but what's really cool, is back in 1995 when this bike came out, obviously it looks like it's from 95. It's a very retro styled bike, but I kind of like that. Christian, I like that. But in 1995, I think it was one of the most expensive bikes money could buy. I'm pretty sure this thing retailed for like $16,000 in 95, which is what, over 20 grand in today's money. This was like one of the biggest and baddest bikes you could buy. And even today, they are well loved by enthusiasts because of their great power, great handling characteristics. It's, it's kind of a good all around like touring bike, I'd say. Is it reliable? Yeah, it reliable. no, they are reliable. They say these yeah. things go to 100, 200,000 miles. You can get insane mileage out of this. This one's got 39,000 miles, which is kind of just average mileage. Uh, but this bike in particular, what's crazy when we we're doing more research, it, it was never crashed. All the fairings and everything are in great shape. This bike actually, how it wound up at Copart Auction, was because it was donated. So somebody literally said, okay, you know, send it to charity. Maybe some guy gave up riding, got older. Maybe somebody passed away and the family just donated the bike to auction. But that's how we got it. So this is a clean title bike for 925 bucks. 
Now with the donation comes the fact that this thing was probably sitting for a while. Of course the battery's dead, everything. I don't know if there's any gas in it. We'll have to see. We're definitely gonna have a little bit of a project on our hands, but hopefully, fingers crossed, if we add gas, do an oil change, change the fluids, maybe the injector, spark plugs, things like that, hopefully we can get it running again and hopefully it runs good. I think we should try to turn it over with a little bit of juice and of course check the fluids, but, mm -hmm. but before we go, you know, spend in a few hundred bucks, see if it turns over. One other really cool thing, when we got the title yesterday, it came in the mail for this bike, get this, it's the original title from 1995. It says on the seller line, BMW Financial Services indicating that this is a one owner original bike whoever donated this had it from 95 and now we have it so this is an original owner oh, bike that is a huge plus it's really well maintained i mean it looks really good paint is in amazing condition i can't wait to wash this that'll be in this video too well that's if we can get it off so let's start by getting it off and then let's wash it try to get it running this is gonna be a fun video let's get to it a little cold start in the 60 diesel almost a year with the new jr garage custom seats that is thanks to richmond upholstery down in texas we had them install these new covers they look amazing holding up yeah, great not just the custom touch but this was a smooth ride man there we go all right made it in the other warehouse we backed out the rx8 now it's time to get this car out of the way so that we can put the lift down and back the bike up on and down we'll see that's the goal anyway don't think we forgot about this car guys we're actually probably going to drop this car off with garrett to be repainted the original metallic brown which everybody wanted in the comment section so it sounds like we're going to go the more restoration route rather than gutting it out ratting it for the track car so you all win and christian wins <laughs> This is such a weird view, backing out one 944 under another 944. Nice and steady. Okay, 83 is gone. All right, using our bend pack lift, gonna bring it up off the locks. Boy, huge thanks to Ben Pack. This has been a lifesaver being able to double this space and fit two more cars in here. Down we go. Oh. Oh, and by the way, we have a big C5 Corvette update as well. I just got word that Billy Boat is sending the exhaust going into production. He says we should have it before Thanksgiving. So that is so exciting. We're gonna make this thing absolutely scream. And then we will either give this car away or the RX-8 in the next free car giveaways in just a few weeks. So be sure to follow the page if you're not already. If you want to win a free Corvette, 100% free. And that should do it. Okay, without a doubt, probably one of the sketchiest things we've done. All right, Jeffrey feels like he's in a sturdy, reliable position. Oh, God. <laughs> Inches from certain disaster. Down she goes. All the markers are down. It is it's working. working. Yes! It is. Ah! Okay. Boom! Okay, guys, and listen to this. There's gas in there. Awesome. Meaning it probably hasn't been sitting for 10 years where it all evaporated out. Or it's an opportunity for that gas to go bad and get gummed up and cause this problems. Is say, should we wash it first or try to get it running? What do you do? Wash it while we got a little sunlight left. Get it looking good call. as good as possible. Show it some love so that it wants to give us love in return. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. We have the mirror, yes, by the way. That's right, we do have it. Just gotta figure out how it goes back on. I hear it's a common problem with these cars. Aftermarket lights, so it is good to put more light out there on the road, but they look a little silly. Yeah, the dude put like a CB radio on it. This guy was like a hardcore biker. Look at this, he was part of a biker club. It says Pasadena Motorcycle Club, chapter number 33, 33. Deer Slayer. If you guys were in the Pasadena Motor Club and you remember Deer Slayer, let him know that we bought his bike. By the way, these things sound epic straight pipes, so you better bet, once again, I think we have to make this thing scream. <laughs> I mean, this thing sounds wicked at, yeah, what is it, 9,000 RPMs, 8,000 RPMs? I'll make it easy, 5,000 likes. <laughs> That's a no-brainer, you guys can crush that, and then we'll make, we'll chop off the exhaust and this thing will rip. We'll make it tasteful though, it can't be too crazy. And go. It's working! All right, she's back, hangar door going up. We're gonna wash it. I think it's gonna look incredible with the wash. All this nasty dirt and grime gonna be gone. So without further ado, let's get into the cinematic Get it. Oh, K1100RS clean. Oh, 
Okay, just finished up and look what we ended with. A stunning sunset, if you guys can make that out. We are blessed with an amazing view every time we're out here. Man, this thing cleaned up good. I know it's dark, we'll pull it into the light when we get diagnosing it and see if it'll start. And all the brake dust that these big Brembo brakes throw up. But yeah, I had a lot of cleaning to do up here, but it's looking great. That was like the simplest engine cleaning ever. Okay guys, back in the main garage. I'm exhausted because I had to push this time. And Christian's actually got the key to the motorcycle. So Christian, we weren't able to get in this before because it was locked. Let's see if we can see what gas is in here, if there's any, and how it smells. As you guys know, if gas smells absolutely awful and not like gas, then well, so that's not gonna work anymore. So we heard a little bit sloshing around. Not sure if we hope there's a lot or a little. What we hope is that it smells good and it smells fresh. Well, where's your wafting that you learned in school? Oh, now I'm woozy. That's so it's no bad? Good. Oh, geez. That's no good. There you go. I'll give my review. Oh, I can smell from here. That's bad. Oh, no, 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 no. It smells like paint thinner. Not yeah. gas. Okay, so how much is in it? Put it vertical and shine a light. I don't see much. Yeah. There you go, just a little bit. See it? It's all like yellow and stuff. It's hanging down. <sighs> so what do we do? We try to drain it or do we just add fresh gas? And Let's try to get some juice to the battery in the meantime, at the very least, to hopefully charge it and see if it holds any sort of charge. And let's see. Try that. Alrighty. Got some more cleaning to do. Alright, so the battery is not even accessible. Alright, so apparently these just clip on and off. Huh. That was easy. And oh, now I got more to clean. The battery's so tucked away. How do you replace that thing? It's like inside the frame. Okay, Christian got his fancy tools going to work. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, it smells so bad. So we're gonna try to get all that old gunk out of there. Five minutes later. That is an empty gas tank. Christian, you got some coolant there? Blinker fluid? What is that? I was gonna say like high C or something. Can I get some high C? No oh, kids, don't try that at home. That is bad gas. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's a couple hours later now. I stopped by Walmart. We got some fresh 91 octane gas and we got Christian's favorite magical chemicals that'll make the bike run good. I think so. I think it's worth a try because we figured that either we go in and replace the fuel pump and everything right now just so that, oh, we don't cause any trouble further down the line in the injectors that is a good reason we don't want to do more damage but we think that this is worth a shot we uh, siphoned out there's like nothing left in the tank now how much is beyond the tank in the lines so we're just going to put a little bit of each of these in then the gas all righty here we go give it a shot not too much i don't know how many gallons this tank is but we don't really want to fill it up just in case we do have to do the fuel pump and all that stuff then we're going to have to remove the tank anyway then we're back at square one it's worth a shot for the sake of the video we need to see if it's going to run low likelihood but with our luck it may just fire off nice fresh stuff in there bmw experts chime in down below with any help uh wait speaking of experts an rxa expert will be coming to help us diagnose the power loss issue on this car so everyone's been wanting an update on their on this car there's your update this thing will be making full power, hopefully very soon. And then we're gonna give, give it away. This is a C5, so it's gonna be awesome. Okay, now we're gonna shake all of our juices up. Oh yeah. Ready? Okay, so, okay, we have lights, that's yeah. cool. Uh, oh, this bike has ABS, that's cool. Battery flashing, no oil pressure, of course not running. Give it a try, this battery may be toast. This may be, uh, it looks pretty weak up here. I don't think it'll even think crank, it but hopefully the engine's not like locked up or something. Let's see if it turns over. Three, two, one. Oh no. Shoot. Sure are we doing this right? Well, dang. Maybe we're doing something wrong. Maybe, maybe the brakes have to be on. Are we like one notch too far? No. See like, yeah, what's that first notch? Last thing. <laughs> Okay guys, here's a YouTube video of this dude doing a cold start on his K1100. We have a problem. Listen to the fuel pump go. Listen. That right there. We did not have that sound. But he did say both brakes need to be depressed and you also need to like open the choke. So we, we're gonna try that. Christian, hop on, hit both brakes, plug that back in. We'll give it one more try. At least if it cranks over, that's a good sign that the engine's freed up and that maybe all we need to do is a fuel pump. So right. there is hope. All right, here we go. Try it. No! Dang. We tried. 
I know there'll be some BMW experts in the chat, so. But what else are we gonna try? If we can't even get it to turn over, that's, it'll, it should turn over with no fuel pump. I know, it's the thing. I feel like we're doing something wrong or something. Or I don't know, maybe some electric short from all of his like stupid radios and lights and. Could just be a weird battery thing. The, the fuel pump, it likes 12 volts. We're giving it a lot more than 12 volts, so it should be good. It's not like it's a low voltage issue. Mm. A lot of weird things happen from bad batteries though. Maybe that's the next step, but I think that's all we can do for this video. So if you guys know bikes, BMWs in particular, let us know. Please help us. It sounds like fuel pump is definitely on the line of business. That was an expected problem, but this whole thing not even cranking, that's an unexpected problem. Part two will be coming soon. We will get this solved. It's looking great, and it looks the business. Yeah, it feels pretty good. Now we just want it to run great. It's great for taller riders. We can easily touch to the ground. So guys, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Stay tuned for part two. Yes, thank you all for all your help. Thank you all for the support along the way. Thank you all for keeping an eye on the next giveaway, the next free car giveaway. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for watching. We will see you in the next one. It feels right.